Let's talk about how you go about getting help in Excel. Say you're working on a particular task in a spreadsheet and you're just at an impasse. You're stuck. Uh, you don't know what to do next. Um, there are numerous different ways of getting help and it's only improved over the different versions of the product that have been released to the market. Um, first of all, starting with the basics, um, if you hover your mouse over any icon up on the ribbon, you'll see a little what's called a screen tip. And that screen tip will pop up and give you a little bit of information about that particular feature of the program. Now this applies to any icon you have um, on your menus. It also applies to the icons you have on your, your quick access toolbar. And that's helpful just for a quick glance. What does this particular icon do for me? And notice that in many cases it will also give you the keyboard shortcut in addition to explaining or describing what that particular icon will do for you. Also, within the dialog boxes, and I'm going to click on the Microsoft Office button, and I'm going to go down to Excel Options here as an example, a dialog box example. Um, anywhere here in a dialog box where you see that little letter I, if you hover your mouse over that, it will give you a little a uh, screen tip pop-up that will give you information about that particular feature. And here I have it again, and here I have it again. So the interactivity within Excel of providing you additional information regarding what certain features will you do has certainly improved. Let me go ahead and close this screen here. Now if you need much more comprehensive or more complete help, you will have the little help button represented by a little question mark. Uh, at the top, at the upper right hand top of your screen, that will always be there for you. In additional, uh, additionally, that will also appear in any dialog box that you happen to have open. And if you click here, you're going to see it's going to try to connect you to Microsoft Office Online, the website. Now, if you are working standalone, if your computer does not have a web connection, um, you will have access to the default help information that was loaded when the software was installed. Right here, once I've clicked on that little help icon, and it brings up this screen after it connects me to the Microsoft Help website, um, I know that I'm connected because it shows me here at the bottom of this box. If I click here, um, I can click on show content only from this computer and I'm going to do so and you'd see what you'd have if you did not have an internet connection available to you. It does say offline here but I do have different help options to review and search through. I'm going to go ahead and reestablish my connection to the Microsoft Office Online site. Right here in this little screen you can move around if you click at the very top of this little dialog you can move it over to the right and get it kind of out of your way. And you have a bunch of uh, you know topics here, um, what's new, installing, customizing, file conversion and compatibility, workbook management, and so forth. If any of these topics sound interesting, go ahead and click on it. It will then present to you additional options. Say I want to look uh, up information regarding templates and forms in Excel. I click that link. It then gives me additional options. And maybe I want to you know use a calendar template. I click on that link and then it gives me some information regarding calendar templates. Now if I want to go back, notice I have little icons across the top of this help screen and the little arrow pointing to the left, kind of like in an, a web browser, that will take me back a screen and I can go all the way back to that main menu again. Now I also have the option to show a table of contents. If I click on this little like dictionary or book, that will give me a table of contents. So I can click down the list, look for what I want. Maybe I want to look at some formula basics. I click there. I then have a series of topics. Maybe I want to work with the sum function. I click there. It then gives me specific information over on the right side. Now if you want to print out instructions to follow or print out a topic, you have the printer icon at the top of that screen as well. Now here, I'm looking at this topic, I can scroll down. It has additional links, including demos. You might find some quizzes to test your understanding through the Microsoft Online Help site as well. 
And here I've got a quite a bit of information that will help me out with some basic calculations here in Excel. The benefit of going to the online help is the fact that it's updated quite frequently and you can best guarantee that the information you have is accurate and up to date more so than if you just relied on help information that came installed with your Excel program. Okay, now you also have this little, like a little push pin icon here. And if you click on that, it will change it from diagonal to straight in. And that means that will keep that help screen up while I proceed to work in my spreadsheet. If I left that little push pin icon diagonal, when I clicked onto my spreadsheet, that help screen would have minimized to my taskbar, which I can easily pull back up again. But you do have the option to keep it up on top of your workspace so you can refer to it as you follow the instructions, or you can just simply have it hide itself and reduce it down to the taskbar at the bottom of your screen. Let me close this out here. Here's another feature that's pretty helpful, and typically in most any software program, if you hit the F1 key, that will also invoke help, some form of help on that program. And here you can also use the F1 key to get context sensitive help. Maybe here on the home tab of the ribbon, you're looking at conditional formatting and you hover over it and it gives you a little bit of information. Sounds interesting, but if you hit F1 at the time that icon is highlighted, it will then take you to the online help and it will give you specific help information regarding that one feature. And here you can read through the details. You can click in to some of the links to read up additional information. And of course you can print to refer back to the information you've printed as a reference. And uh, one other icon we didn't talk about on the screen across the top, this little group of icons here in the help screen is a little home icon, which simply takes you back to the home and one last thing I hadn't mentioned earlier is that within this help screen, you do have a little search field where if you're looking for a particular topic to quickly get to it instead of having to browse through a list of available topics, you can type in a keyword or a search term to help you quickly navigate to that aspect within help. Uh, for example here, say you want to work on, I don't know, formulas. Type in the search term, and here you go. You get a selection of results based on that term that you plugged in. Uh, so there you have it, all the help options within Excel. Hopefully this uh, training segment was helpful.